everyone, good morning. Today, I'm going to make a sushi out of noodles. So, most of the recipe is the same in regards to how you would make sushi with rice, but today we're gonna use a green tea soba. And in this sushi, we're also gonna put in a cucumber. Uh, I pre-made some shrimp tempura earlier, so we're gonna try to fit four pieces of shrimp in there, some lettuce, and this is called a uzumaki. It's a pink fish cake. It's basically just ground up shrimp and fish, um, and they, they kind of they kind of boil it into a paste. So we're gonna use just a slice of that for some flavor. So let's get started. So I have my sushi mat, and I have two pieces of nori here. So first of all, I'm gonna with the second piece, I'm just gonna bend it in half. And I'm gonna try to tear it. Uh, we're gonna use this in the inside of the sushi. Just so it kind of binds it and keeps it together so we don't make a mess. So I'm gonna put this on the side. Okay. It's been a long time since I've done this, so cross my finger that works. So we have some green tea soba. I just went ahead and cooked it for about five minutes and let it sit on the stove for another five minutes. So it's pretty al dente, I guess the term is. So we're gonna head and use this instead of our rice. So we're just gonna gently fill our sushi nori with the noodles. A spring roll like the Vietnamese version well actually this is the more of a Japanese version but I guess that would be the closest thing would be like those uh, spring rolls you see at uh, Vietnamese restaurants actually haven't seen this done too often before so I thought we'd give it a try all right so the goal is just to spread it out as best you can try to cover any patches and at the very top, you want to leave about three quarters of an inch. This is going to help seal the sushi at the very end. So even when you make rice sushi, make sure you always have a little, about, say, index finger space. If not, what happens is it smooshes and the sushi doesn't close properly. All right, so just pat it down. Hopefully that's OK. Then we have our strip of nori. We're gonna put that in, and we're gonna put, we have just some smaller leaf lettuce. Oh, I can already tell this is gonna be a challenge to close, but we have some small leaf lettuce we're gonna put in. Here's our cucumber. And I'm gonna go ahead and open up our uzumaki, or commonly known as fish cake. So the fish cake is already about the same size as the nori, which is pretty convenient, so. It's kind of a interesting, it's like a giant sea cucumber, pink one anyway. So we're gonna cut, that should be about good. It's basically for color. And from what I'm seeing here, it looks like I'm not gonna be able to fit all four pieces of the shrimp, so I'm just gonna do two. I'm gonna cut the ends off just so they meet a little bit better in the middle. So it's gonna basically be like this. Now, uh, nobody's ripping. Now here comes the fun part, and this is where I guess a lot of problems occur with sushi. So your goal is to get this side to this side without anything ripping or falling out. So I'm gonna lift it up and I'm gonna use my left hand as kind of a guide. So I'm gonna put my hand right on top of the shrimp. Like this. And then when it's securely in, I'm gonna just kind of roll everything together, make sure, bring my lettuce up. And we're gonna, once, we, once this part folds over, we're gonna give it a nice hard press down. You don't want to squeeze it so hard so everything starts shooting out, but you just want to make sure the ingredients are going to be set in place. And once you have a pretty firm press, you lift it up, and you're going to see how nothing kind of spilled out and everything's within that black part, the black part of the nori, that's kind of what you want. And then from here, we're just going to finish rolling it out. 
right there. That's the end of the nori, and we're gonna give it another press. And what I like to do is I like to hold the end, and then so you press this way, and also you're coming down. So one, two, three, and just kind of give it one more. And then hopefully, if you cross your fingers, it'll come out like this. And um, at the very beginning, I told you to leave about an index finger of room. So you want it to be sealed like this. So it's not fully sealed yet, so I'm gonna let it sit for just a minute so the, so the nori can actually press against itself. And we'll go ahead and cut it and plate it. So we let it sit for about two minutes or so. Now comes the cha uh, another challenging part. So we wanna cut it, but we wanna make sure we cut it without everything kinda blowing up in your face. So um, it's a lot easier to cut two sushi rolls at the same time for me anyway, but since I only have this one, I'm gonna cut it in half first. So what you wanna do is make a couple of, we want a really sharp knife, so you make a couple of incisions on the top, and then just down at the bottom real quick, and it'll look something like this. We're not done cutting it, but kinda get the gist. So I'm gonna cut the rest of it, and plate it, and show you what it looks like. Okay, welcome back. So this is the final product. We went ahead and made, there's different sauces you can use, but this is kind of a, a common one. It's a mizkan, it's kind of a, a tsuyu base. Basically just a little shoyu, sugar, a little dashi. You can buy it at any store. If not, you can make your own. Um, or you can just eat it plain. There's a lot of flavor in the shrimp already and also the fish cake. So uh, I urge you to try it at home. Hopefully you enjoy it. Let me know if you have any feedback or comments. Thank you.